the other day that I come, that you said that cleaner is uh, that is only cleaner. Say cleaner is here, Philip. You were you are lucky because I've I've come back. But see, I will have to conduct interview for you because I have to clean the company that I want to work with. Uh -huh. So be answering my question. Say your company is not dirty. I cannot be cleaning a company that is dirty again. Eh? See, don't insult me because I'm seeking for a job in your company. Don't know me that you can be talked to me anyhow. Uh -huh. Hope your general manager is not the one that will turn cleaner to a uh, messenger. Because if you send me on here and I will not go. Eh? Okay. Hope your general manager is not the one that will leave the work by 3 p.m. and be expecting that we will leave by 4 p.m. Because if your general manager leaves 3 p.m., if me, I will leave 3 or 1. I don't have time. It's not the type. Okay. I will do it. Clean up. But wait. Hope you'll be giving me promotion, like for cleaner to so assistant general manager. Maybe the general manager will die and I'll become the general manager. <laughs> All right, welcome back. <laughs> yes, that's my next guest uh, on the show today. She's a comedian, social media sensation. She has a, almost a million followers, I believe, uh, on Instagram. That is, that is a lot. There are some countries that are not even that, <laughs> that, many, that many in the nation. Thanks for being here today, Lizzie J. Omoibado. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing fine. I'm <laughs> fine. Nice to meet you in person. I mean, I've seen your skits a lot on Instagram. I remember one of the first ones I saw was the one you do with your students yeah. in class. And, you know, you're going through. How did it all start? You know, why did you go down that road? Um, well, I, I didn't start skit like I was going to do skit. I was just being playful. Like, you know, like someone told me, oh, you're funny. Can you just be doing skit? I was just doing something. Just being playful then I, I i saw that people were liking it actually being playful in the sense that i just wanted to make myself happy i, I just wanted to do something then so i just had to do something then i saw that people were liking it i was getting feedback and like ah hey, we love what you do we love your skits and love so i started on facebook actually i because i didn't really concentrate on i was just doing it actually not like i thought i was going to blow so like ah wow we love what you're doing then someone like, ah, open an Instagram account, then you uh, Instagram is for big people, there is or big girls and big boys. <laughs> <laughs> then from there, I saw that from Facebook to Instagram, people when were sharing my Instagram ski. Account? That was around 2016, um, maybe around November, uh, 2016 okay. November. But I started around then, let's say May or June on Facebook and though. Then I opened the Instagram account and I saw that within two, I think two, three days, like 10,000, 15,000 followers. So like every day my followers increase like for 5,000 today. I was like, ah, Nibu not saying what, like what happened? <laughs> What's really going on? <laughs> what, what is going on? So I, I saw that uh, like many people were sharing my skits, uh, uh, big celebrities and people like I was like, oh. and that was it. And yeah. I continued. And now you have over 900,000 followers, almost a million followers. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, that is a lot of people. You know, do you, did you start feeling any pressure at any point? Like, oh, I have all these people here now, so I have to be funny. Did you start, did you start feeling pressure at any point? No. To please, you know, those number of people? No. I, I just do me. Yeah. Because I, I didn't really thought I was funny when I started. So I, I don't really now have to force it or try to be funny. I just do my thing. Yeah. Whatever comes to my head, I just do it. Whatever I feel is funny to me, I just do it. Because most times I don't even watch my own skits. I, I prefer <laughs> to go to other people's page and see and then laugh. Yeah. I don't watch my So you never skit. thought you were funny? No. Nobody ever told you you were Nobody funny? Nobody ever told so me So yeah. why did you do the, f the very first skit you did? Okay, this why is did you do that one? I am this kind of, um, um, let me say, a very playful and like I, I mix with people very easily. I make friends very easily. So I'm the outspoken type I talk to. So I, on, on, on Facebook, I do write things very well, funny, funny things sometimes. And there are times people will say, ah, when I'm bored or stuff, I come to your page to read whatever you have written. You know? So one day, this thought came to me, and there was no way I was going to put it down into writing. To make it look like what I'm trying to, uh, to, express, it to express. So I had to find someone to make me a video. Mm -hmm. And then I helped with that video then. Mm -hmm. And then, to my surprise, my first video on Facebook, uh, within 24 hours, I had like 5,000 views. Like, ah, 5,000 was the old lot for me. <laughs> They're like, really? So that was it. And I started. And because then, too, I had some kind of issues with um, school and all, I had to 
at the point pause to produce some things and all. So then I just had to do something. So that was just you know, really like so it was like me trying to make myself happy and then I saw that it was making others happy also. Ah, yeah. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you talked about school now, because you're still a yeah. student, right? You're still yeah. in school. Yes. What are you studying, first of all? Microbiology. In what school? Um, Polytechnic Ibado. Okay. So how does that work with all of this, you know, because you, you, you have a lot of content that you constantly put out. Where do you find the time to do it? How you, and also, how are you coping with you? Because know, I'm sure you're very famous <laughs> in school now, actually. Yes, yes actually. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's not easy, but because it's my choice, it's yeah. what I want, so I just have to keep doing it. Um, sometimes I, I don't have time for, um, um, to mix it, maybe during exams and all. I just have to know that, okay, this week, uh, the next two, three weeks is for my exam. Any advert or whatever skit that I have to do, I have to put it on pending until I am done with exam. And sometimes I just have to know that, see, whatever you are doing in school, I just have to make time for my career also. Let me just go and do this school you to wait for you week. I will come back mm -hmm. to you. So I just have to, I'm just trying to, it's not been easy actually. Frustrations, pressures and all. But I'm just doing it because yeah. that's what I want. You said you were going through some things in school at the time. Mm. Things, what, what exactly was it that you were going through? Well, then I, okay, um, from, from, onset, uh, from onset, what I actually wanted to do was, I, I wanted to be a medical doctor. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, uh, like I wrote jam many times, and jam would jam me. And even when I <laughs> pass, <laughs> even when I pass jam, <laughs> the school is still jam. I heard that in a while. Sorry, <laughs> jam would jam me. So even when I pass jam, the school is still not pick me. They say, ah, we don't want you. I say, ah, don't worry, I'll come back next year. So I kept writing. So at the point, I I was told that okay, if you go to polytechnic to study science, laboratory technology, when you are done, you can actually um, obtain a direct entry form into a university then you can study medicine then start from part two so that was my wow. my intention to, uh, like, like, like going to um polytechnic then i got to polytechnic then i finished slt then i found out that there was nothing like that anymore they don't accept slt students for um, medicine anymore it's either you study microbiology or medical laboratory sciences I was like, kind of like, that was not what I wanted, actually. So I asked to go back and say, okay, let me just put this all the stuff on hold. I'll sit so down and write another jump. Yes. I'll sit down and write another jump. So I, I started, I wrote another jump. Oh, wow. Yes. And after, I, how many, after how many years in, in polytechnic? Two like years? three years. Three years, okay. So I said, okay, I was going to do another jump. So I wrote another jump. I think I scored around um, 240 or so. So uh, fortunately for me, Oh, hey, you offered me microbiology, which by then I felt, okay, if at the point I could uh, have um, a good GP for microbiology, I can still go back to study medicine. So registration started, and I found out <laughs> that they have removed my name. I don't understand how. They just removed my name. I don't know what happened. So you went to start registration? Yes. I have printed the admission form. Everything was ready. Then when we were about to start the registration, I saw that my name was not on the e portal anymore. Like, what happened? At least Did you I complain to the school? Yes. I went to the school. I went to meet the registrar. I, I, I complained. He told me to write letters, and I did. But nothing was done, actually. So, like... Is that something that usually happens? Or have you heard about that happening to anybody else? Or? Not really. Not really. It was just kind of... I, like, I, I, I was very surprised. When I thought, yeah. okay, it's a, it's a kind of... Um, um, okay, microbiology would be like maybe... Um, a direct entry to medicine mm. and then you still have to shatter my hope again like what happened so then i was kind of very very done like okay i tried direct entry on uh, university but they shall not take me like four times i'm not angry don't worry they will not take me so so that time i was, I was kind of very very done and i had to start doing something yeah. and that was me doing ski to what just did they say about the admission letter you were holding ah, they said it's not enough proof to say that I, I, I actually, like, like I've been admitted into school, so there's nothing they, was going, they were going to do about it. So I just had to sit down. That's very, very strange and interesting. Very, very what, strange. What's happening to your dreams of medicine? Is it completely dead? Is it something you're still <laughs> going to pursue? Well, if I actually have the opportunity, I, I will still do, but that would, be, that would not be in Nigeria. 
What's the, what's the attraction to, to study medicine? Why did you want to, or why do you want to study medicine so much? Well, I just love anything science, and I love whatever that has to do with health. I love reading, reading about um, 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 diseases and um, health issues and all. And most times, I, I usually find myself reading about cures and treatments or preventions to stuff like that. I just love medicine, naturally. Okay. So, so something you still want to do. Yes. So all of this, your comedic side... It's still not taking you away from what your real passion is. Is that what I, is that what you're saying? Not really, not really. If I still have the opportunity to study medicine, I will, but not in Nigeria. That would be okay. So I will still study medicine, even if it's just for me to just go there and see if um um um, um medicine is my if I will be fulfilled doing medicine or maybe being a comedian or being an influencer will yeah. satisfy me and I'll yeah. be okay with it. I'll still do medicine. That's very interesting. So you're still not a hundred percent satisfied with 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 where you are now. When are you done with with school? I should be done by um, November, December. This year. Yes. Okay. So you'll be graduating this year. Yes. And then I guess you're going to be facing comedy full time until the next thing happens, if it still happens. If it still happens. <laughs> so if it doesn't, I'll just face my. When did you realize? Stuff. When did you realize? You know that this was. A money-making thing. When did you When did you get your first paycheck? You're one of you because you're an influencer now. You get paid yeah. to post. When was the first paycheck you got? When was this? I, I think that was around um, 2017 or so. Okay. I think I did an advert for no 2016. I did an advert for Adron Homes. I think I was paid 180,000 or 20,000 naira, mm -hmm. and that was kind of ah, this is this is huge. So how much do you get paid now? <laughs> okay, if I want to make a skit now for a big organization, the least I would do is 400,000 naira. Okay, what's that's the most? Very you? least, the most I'll do like it's 400 um, to 800. Okay. Yeah. So, but for our small businesses, I, I still try to consider the fact that okay, you, you're still growing. Let me help. Yeah. Sometimes I do 200, 300. And how often do you get? Paid posts. Is this like a, is this a weekly thing? Is it a monthly? Is it a daily thing? <laughs> no, not a okay. daily thing. Um, sometimes it's it's like two times in two times in a month. Okay. Because I have to schedule my time also. Exactly. School and all. So most times when people come to me for advert, I tell them your advert won't be ready until maybe ten days. So I have to just check my stores and know that okay. So. 10 days, I think there are 30 days in a week. So even if I'm going to make an advert in a month, that will be like three adverts in a month. So there's just like two adverts in a month. Mm -hmm. And sometimes advert post, picture post, and all. Yeah. So your, 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 your style is very often. unique, you know. I mean, it's... Um, do you ever worry, though, because you speak a lot in Yoruba, yeah. for example. Do you ever worry that maybe there are a lot of your fans who don't understand you? Do you ever worry that you might be alienating some people because they don't understand... You know, some of your kids are there, maybe like, okay, maybe I should do more pigeon or more English. I'm not saying you should do, but just is this I something understand. you think about sometimes? No, not really. Because Biruba is yourself. Yes. So that's the most important yes, thing. not really. Though sometimes I try to subtitle to my kids so that people would be able Can't to really get know. along. Yeah. You understand? But I don't really get pressure to do something. Me, I just think it's better to do what I find my life where I find myself funny, what people find funny about me. Though this is, I'm trying some English kids and all, oh, but it's not really like, it's not, not until when I pictured a kind of English scenario and English, uh, yeah. that was when I started it. But not because I was pressured to do it or because I was thinking I would be, no, yeah. no, not really. But I just do things as they come. And you draw on tribal marks, I believe, right? Yes. Okay, they are not, they are not there. They are not there. You just draw them on. Why, yes. you, why is that? Why, do you, why did you, why did you do that? I think my first or second skit, there was a skit that I did that has to do with Omo Ibado. So I was just mimicking, like I was just doing whatever. So I, I, I put the mark then and I just put my <laughs> face. So, and that was it. So that was where I started the mark. The truth is, if I knew I was going to blow, I wouldn't use the mark. So now you have to keep doing it. <laughs> I have to keep doing it. And sometimes I have to do skits that just have my face. Yeah, face there, okay. Without the mark, which is just like the one we watch. What does your family think about all of this? You know, <laughs> I mean, they are, they are potential doctor, daughter, you know, is now an Instagram sensation. Actually, How my do they dad, take it? My dad is the type that believes that whatever you're going to do, circumstances will just take you there. So when I finished my, H my, my OND, my dad was like, 
go back and do your HND. What are you waiting for? Like, he doesn't really see the need for me to kind of do medicine. Don't go, 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 go. Like, mm -hmm. what is it? Just do your HND. What are you waiting for? And I, I think my mates then, okay, okay, my mates are already seven now, or maybe they are done already. I don't know. So my dad was like, do whatever you want to do. So he's not the type of person that just... So when I started the Omo Ibado thing, and also I sing, actually. Okay. When I was doing my OND, I was, I was just say this rapper, this tomboy, they know in school, so I sing also. So most times when I go to the studio and my dad was like, ah, okay, um, please let me be the first person to listen to your music. Like, he's that kind of person it's that very wants... Very supportive. Very, very supportive. And my mom also. So when I started, my, my dad was very happy about it because he just doesn't see any reason for me to tackle one to meet him, like, but... <laughs> so he was very happy about it and he's still very supportive. That's, that's, that's very good. Yeah. So um, yeah, you're going to graduate this year... You are a potential doctor someday. <laughs> you are a comedian. You can sing. You probably also act. Yes. I mean, what what should we be looking forward to? Let's say in another two three years. What what do you think the Omo Ibado brand or Adela Debola will be doing? Well, a, a very big um, <clears throat> filmmaker, an intelligent filmmaker. I think I see myself doing more of movies. I see myself as let me say so a potential actor. Yes, than. So in the next two or three years, I, I want to be a non-filmmaker, like with films that make sense, let me put yeah. it that way. <laughs> so in the next two three years, I want to movies, I want to just be more than what I am now. Okay. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. I don't know, does that mean the Dr. Dream is... No. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I find that very fascinating that you're still, you know, holding on to <laughs> that. So I mean, I don't think it's something you should let go if it's still a part of your you know, of what you think would make you completely fulfilled. Yeah. It's something you're, you're, you're hoping to do, right? Yeah. But you said not here. <laughs> not, no, 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 not here. Most I don't even want that. I don't want to get... Maybe they have rejected me. Rejected all right, all the best. We'll be looking forward to all the great things you have in store. I mean, comedy is good money. Influencing very, is also very, very good money. Yes, very good. So, I mean, good luck with everything, and thanks a lot for being here today. Thank you. I'll call you Doctor. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.